Hello, welcome to Paul's Take. This is a 2020 Mitsubishi Eclipse Cross ES. It comes with a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder. It has 152 horsepower. It doesn't seem like much. We'll see how it goes, how it drives in a little bit. So the wheels it comes with seem very small. They're like small little cute wheels. 215, 70 on a 16. Wow, 16 actually looks small nowadays. Falcon, Falcon wheels. Styling is pretty, I don't know, it's, hit, it's just kind of a mixed bag because at this angle, it's kind of cool looking, kind of sporty, kind of fun, lighthearted. The front has a lot of lights and angles. Not too bad, but uh, you're starting to lose me a little bit on the front end. So they do have halogen lights, I think they're halogen. I believe. It has, the roof has a little bit of a uh, lumps to them. I believe that's for aerodynamical purposes. Lights on the side mirror. Now, where I get lost on the Mitsubishi is the rear end. There's just too much going on back there. It has this big, this big tail light that goes all the way across, and then there's glass below it. So in between your your rear window is a light. To me, I think it looks too much like a Toyota Prism, Prius, no, Prius. But either way, I didn't like the Prius. I don't like it on here. But in 2022, they get rid of that. And they make the, the, the rear end a lot cleaner. It actually looks a lot better. The, the vehicle itself is pretty much the same, but I got a feeling, like uh, myself, I don't like it. They must've got a lot of complaints because they got rid of that. It's be a nice, more traditional looking rear end. So this is a smaller SUV, if you wanna call it SUV or a crossover. So the trunk space is not huge in the back. It's not bad, it's not horrible, but it's definitely not a ton. Now, of course, they do come down, put to load some things, and now you have a lot more space. So then you can, you can carry some serious stuff if you're not carrying too many people. It does seem like a lot of pretty good, you know, it's a little got some nooks back here, nook on this side. Underneath, you got a spare tire and your jack. Let's check out the back seat. Is there space for a full adult, a full grown adult like myself? I don't know. It's a pretty small car. And this seat is a little pushed kind of far back a little bit. And I am touching the front. And now I have plenty of space in the back. Now the back seat seems very upright. I wonder if it reclines a little bit. Does it recline? Oh yeah, it reclines a lot. Do that much of a recline compared to the other seat. And now let's take a feel. I'm at a nice angle, so I'm relaxed. Take me where I need to go. And I got plenty of leg room. So the styling, let's see, how do I look? It looks, uh, you know, they're not pushing any envelopes, but it's clean. It works. The seats are very nice. I like their, uh, for a basic car, it has nice looking seats. Good bolstering, bolstering on the side here. So it definitely comes out, keeps you in place. Eclipse. Got 240 mile range. You know, look at that. At a three quarters of tank, you still got 240 miles. Top speed says 140. RPMs go to 6,000 to hit the red line. That's pretty cool. Got your display. I'm thinking maybe five or six inches. 
You got radio, you got your Bluetooth for your phone, media, what's the media? Home button, so we got AM, FM, USB, Bluetooth, phone, so pretty simple. All right, now we got your uh, climate control, temperature up, temperature down, get your modes, different locations, fan for up or down, Circuit recirculation, auto, eco mode, looks like it down here, eco mode, we don't want that, USB port, and your secret lighter style uh, input. Shifter is nice. It's got Sportstronic. Got a normal brake lever. I like those. I prefer this than a button. And the styling is clean. It's a clean car. It's not over the top anything on the interior, but it's not bad at all. It's like a simple and neat. No complaints, not over the top. But it doesn't. It probably won't get old because it does the job well. The steering wheel looks comfortable. It looks fine. Same way. Here's your cruise control. Get up or down. So, yeah. Check out the reverse cam and the reverse cam. So there's your reverse cam. Nice. Fasten seatbelt, excuse me for living. Right, I get the point, lady. There's a little bit of torque steer, torque steer when you put when you push it, but not bad. It's a little, it's fun. I like it. Oh, wait a minute. Wow, that 2.5 liter. No, not what 2.5. 1.5 liter uh, turbocharged motor is actually pretty peppy off the line. You can feel it kick in. Didn't seem like it was all that fast on the higher end, but it seemed like it had a nice little kick. Let's do that again. Yeah, man. Pretty quick. That was 60. Handles very well. Ooh, there's a person there with a dog. Slow down. So it drives very, uh, it, it's funny because it's an SUV, but I guess they call it like a sports SUV, a crossover. And it feels uh, pretty crossy. I mean, it feels like it drives like a car. Pretty much. So, uh, so the seats are very comfortable. I'm impressed with the seats. My, uh, my wife had a few Mishibishis. And she had the uh, last one was the Mitsubishi Outlander, something like that. I don't know. And we had it for a long time. This is a variable transmission. Oh, that was really good. A <laughs> very controlled manner. Uh, anyways, uh, so she had it for a long time. This this one has a variable transmission, and it feels much better. It actually has, yeah, I, I would say, almost like fake shift points because variable transmissions don't don't shift. But it seemed like when I was hitting it, peels out. Oh, crazy. Okay, so yeah, you don't hear any shifting. Initially, I felt like I did. It felt pretty fast. I mean, not like a, not like a Mustang or a Camaro or something or a Corvette, but for, you know, your SUV, daily little, your little work commuter, your little commuter vehicle, your family vehicle. Um, it definitely seems like it has enough power. And I think the way they have it uh, geared, even though it's variable transmission, that uh, it seems like it's fun because it's got a lot of torque off the line. So you gotta like jump out, jump out in the traffic or something. It's gonna go. Yeah, wow. It really does. It really. Yeah, I noticed that on the higher end, though, you can, you can tell there's not that much power. But on the lower end, there's plenty of power. I wonder if there's like a sports mode on this thing. It does, it does have a trip tonic where you can shift it yourself. But I'm not going to bother with that. I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, actually, off the line, it's plenty fast. 
definitely, you know, I'm actually very impressed with the off the line performance. A lot of torque off the line. Wheels are spinning, using the controls, spinning in the trees, just the way you want it to be. Wow. I can't keep its wheels from spinning. That's how much, how much torque this thing has. It drives really good. I'm actually very impressed. Uh, I know I was kind of upset that they used the Eclipse name. And truthfully, I'd never driven the actual Eclipse before. And I'm sure it's faster and handles better, but or at least it's more sporty. But all in all, this thing actually drives pretty fun. It's, it's got a fun character to it. Mainly because of the torque and the, and the fact that it handles really well. I wouldn't say like tight handling, like it's gonna lean a little bit, but it's very confident inspiring. It's very true. It's not, it has very tight feeling. It's secure in its lane. It's not, you know, it's, you, you know where you're going. It's, uh, yeah, it's very comfortable. So that is pretty good. I'm actually impressed. So, and it's supposed to have great gas mileage. I think up to 29 miles per gallon on the highway. Got room to put the stuff in. So all in all, I think it's a pretty nice car. Except for that that, that tailgate, the tail, or the, the back door, the, the, the back of the car. It is ugly. But like I said before, the 2022 version, they cleaned it up, so it actually looks nice. They got rid of that that bar, that uh, the light thing, and it makes it look more traditional, cleaner looking. All in all, I think, I mean, it's, if you get a good deal on it, they're not very expensive. Not expensive car. I would wait for the 2022 version myself, but you know, if you're on a budget and you got a good deal on one of these, like I said, my wife had, a, had two issues. She, she, she ran them to death, had like 150, 160,000 miles on each one. Never broke down, they're, they're very reliable vehicles, you know, so I, I, I do have confidence in the Mitsubishi brand. Um, I, I feel like they're a little on the vanilla overall with the design, this one included. But it's a good vehicle. It definitely, like I said, comfortable. I drive, you can drive this thing all day. The seats are actually very comfortable. It has a nice look to them, so. I say, hey, thumbs up. Well, that's my take. Hope you liked the video. Make sure you hit like, subscribe for more videos. And thanks for watching. What is that smudge on my face? I got smudged the whole time. You didn't tell me. What in the world? All right, thanks for watching, Fall State. I did notice that uh, this has actually on the, uh, the rear view mirrors, the side mirrors, you got that little convex mirror. You don't really see that on stock vehicles. You just gotta add that, but that comes with it. It's kind of a nice idea. They should do that on more vehicles.